Hello everybody, my name's the Mad Kitty Man, and welcome to Sucker for Love, A Date to Die For. Now, this is my first time playing this game. I remember scrolling through my Steam and seeing this was... I think it was like my Steam queue or something like that, where it kind of like tells you the next upcoming games and all that. And I saw this, and I was like, huh, that was like a very interesting game. And then, of course, there's the other Sucker for Love, which I'm probably going to do later on down the road. But I want to play this first. Hopefully, it's not in order. I hope it's not. Also, good news, I got my new PC build, and I am happy. Uh, I'll probably do a video later on down the road uh, explaining the specs from the new PC and my old PC. And let me tell you, my old graphics card was, was at the verge of breaking. But anyway, let's get right on into it. New date. Okay. What? The true ending for chapter 999 to unlock. Oh. The true endings for chapter 1 and 2 to unlock. Survive chapter 1 to unlock. And I'm guessing this is chapter 1. Let's go. The versus the one. The thousand versus the one. Oh boy. Alrighty. Eldritch gods. Hi. Cosmic horrors. Man. Things beyond our understanding. You guys look like a very interesting cult. Merely gaze honestly. Upon their form is to really do. All hope. Very interesting, uh, mask. They are sequestered to the stars, appearing only through challenging that one has a failure porn rituals and unutterable This is a cult that kills people, I bet. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. You don't say that sounds like a cult. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows Ugh. is in an obscure and perceptible Ooh, the shape, boogeyman. but a tangible madman. Oh yeah. That the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. Uh huh. The simple hatchet in their hands. Uh. Uh. I feel like you could do a lot of damage, but I, I don't know, like, w would it be a lot better to do two because it'd be easier and you could put more force behind it like that. Did something scary happen? Odd book sell. What? Hi. Oh, I'm guessing that's us. In the book you're reading. Did Ooh, hi. Hey, you do. Uh, uh, just a strange dream is all. I'm all right. Oh. oh. Sorry, this might sound strange, but can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore in Sacramento. Are you lost? Uh. Why does that sound eerily close to Sacramento, California? Oh no, I think I know where I am now, thanks. I've been having odd dreams lately, waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. I don't think that is really good. If you, okay, if you're having strange dreams and you're waking up in random places, I, you're sleepwalking and hopefully you're not murdering people while you're sleepwalking. Is that possible? Could that be possible? Started around the same time folks began vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Despite the small size of this backward town, dozens have gone missing in the past year. So many that the trains won't even stop here. Well, I mean, can I blame can I blame the train station if I were to be like, oh I got I got all these tours people coming in and I dropped them off, then next minute they're dead. They're gone. I don't think I don't think I would want that. Worried locals say that they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods, animals with too many features, which outsiders can't shake the feeling of being watched by the townsfolk's unblinking purple eyes. The Sacramento Stare, they call it. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? I don't know. What kind of books do you have? It looks like your uh, bookstore is a little bit unorganized. Just a tiny bit. You got, uh, you, you just, 
You just cramp those books in there. <laughs> those books remind me of my locker back in high school where I just cramped everything in there. We've all done it. We've all done it. We've all done it where for some odd reason, schools give us the ridiculous amount of books and we're trying to organize our locker. But guess what? The locker is this big. You can't fit anymore. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you here late on my account. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, lately, are you the author you of the books? Or are you, are you telling me that I'm reading the books in your bookstore? There's a hair on my... That is... That's not hair. That's from a... That's from the little mesh thing to keep stuff out. Home. My family fleed this place long ago when the disappearance started. But a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. Hey, Stardust. Wait, is that my... Please don't tell me that's my name. Please tell me that's a nickname because I feel like I'd be bullied a lot from school. Well, I'm still pretty shaken up about everything, so I'm taking care of her at Graham's place. If you come by for a visit, I know it'll cheer her up and help her feel better. We miss you like crazy. This is definitely my father's handwriting, and only my parents call me Sardust. Nickname. Okay. Impossible. Mom, Dad, I know you're not really waiting for me. You've been gone for over a year. But whoever sent this note obviously wants me to come poking around, and I am to find out why. There's something, there's something strange and sac sacramental. The dreams, the stare, the spirits, it's all connected, I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting to a stop to it. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. I don't like the way your eyes are glowing. But bye. A warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step in, out into the dusk. I... Well, shit. <laughs> Sacramento. This should have been my hometown, but... It's become unrecognizable. Yeah, that tends to happen a lot when it comes to when you go to your old town or your hometown that you used to grow up in, and things a little bit went down south. Trust me, I've, I've, I've been through my hometown before a couple times. The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person poster, person, missing person posters that are littered every surface. They call this the missing person lane now. I don't think that's good. And are those trees in the distance? I think I seen. Th yeah. <laughs> Despite searching, searchers put up posters here before vanishing themselves. Okay, so you're telling me somebody puts up a poster, they vanish. Then another person realizes that put up poster, they vanish. Then somebody realizes put up poster, then they vanish, and then they disappear and then somebody notices it they put up poster they vanish somebody notices they put up poster i'm going crazy <laughs> this is the only path left that leads straight to my grandma's house why is this the only path i'm sorry but grandmas usually have like five different pathways to get to even if you have to cut through somebody's yard just do it don't go down this way this is death I could see it on the walls. I mean, missing people. I mean, come on. But something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. I got him turn around? No. I've walked in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. Stay calm. I pick your direction and jog, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double back, check walls and addresses. Still lost. Maybe if I checked a note from my parents, for the address and it's a receipt cash receipt too can't forget that let's see december 12th of 2020 oh that's an interesting year december 12th what 
December 12th. That's, that's winter. A grocery receipt? Impossible. I just had their letter. I even kept it in my pocket empty. So I wouldn't lose it. Okay, hang on. I'm going to judge on what did you get. Okay. Chicken curry. Okay. Fried chicken. Okay. Cheeseburger. For two cheese, a cheeseburger is four bucks. That's cheap. That's really cheap. That's cheaper than McDonald's. Let's see, beer for four dollars for one. That's kind of a ripoff, honestly. Water. Oh, water is one dollar each. That's good. That's good. Ketchup, one dollar. Soy sauce, one dollar. Other. T what's other? Please explain to me what's other. What other thing did I buy? Wait, this is a receipt of the exact dimension in the folds as the letter. Could I have imagined a whole letter? No, impossible. Why do I hear my heart beating? I checked the back. Then double check the front, but the receipt remains just that. Something is very wrong. I have to get out. I have to run. I have to. Hey, ow! Hi, how are you, you doing? Blind or something? Uh. Where are you even going, Katarama? Katar Katarama. Is that my name? No, I am not Katarama. I'm sorry, Miss. I'm probably betcha you are a preppy bitch. I slam right into somebody coming the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you alright? Should have been more careful. Well, she's really pretty. But what on earth is a girl wandering around Sacramento at night? Don't touch me. I'm not touching you! I want to stand right here. I'm not touching you. But I do need to touch my mouse. Can I touch the mouse? I'm going to touch the mouse. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. Oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Okay, first of all, I can tell, probably bet you your boyfriend's name's Brad. And why would I want to go with Brad? Brad's probably got about like 15 other chicks wanting him. Why did I want him? All right? I probably bet you if Brad is one of those guys that drives a lifted pickup truck, puts a giant ass fucking loud ass muffler in it, and then probably squats it like this, and he's just like. Probably bet you that's your boyfriend, eh? That's your boyfriend. That's 100% your boyfriend because I can tell. His name is Brad, and he likes squatted trucks! Like a loser! What? Huh? What? Your boyfriend? Yeah. You heard me. My boyfriend, Buck, is Oh, my Buck. Buck is, sounds very familiar to Brad. Okay, I'm sorry. Where the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations coming from? I don't know anyone named Buck. Huh? <laughs> really? You don't know who Buck is? No, I don't, but I don't like the way your eyes went to purple. You're not, like, from out of town. Are you? Well, I used to live here actually a long time ago. A very long time ago. Back when I was a kid, I used to live here. But then I moved away because I went to college and all that stuff. I pursued my high education. Spent a lot of nights drinking energy drinks and all that. Probably going to have a heart attack in a couple years. But hey, I, I, I'm not an outsider. I used to live here. Like, my, my grandma is at the end of that road. Can, can they just get, get the fuck out of my way? Just move? Because grandma's probably cooking dinner. Probably grandma made chicken. The stair. It's real. I turned my head down and briskly walked past her. She started walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. Yep. I can't let her see my eyes. I can't. No more what? She'll know this. I don't have the Sacramento stair. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? I told you I was from here a long time ago. Like a really long time ago. Back when I was a wee 
little kid. I don't really like your stare. Don't like that. I live here. Oh yeah? Look at me really quick. <sighs> this is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? Okay. Here's what I would do in a situation like this, okay? The best thing to do it is if you have a bottle of water, fling it into her eyes and bolt. Just bolt. Go to any direction. Either go left, right, straight, back, up, down. Doesn't matter. Just bolt. Bolt to any direction. After when you put the water in her eyes. Alright, because she's probably going to take about five minutes because you got water in her eyes and her... Ah, her makeup is going to be ruined and she's going to sit there. She's going to cry. She's going to cry. And, and she's going to be sitting there. She's going to be crying. And then her boyfriend, fucking Buck. Whoever, I, I, whoever names her kid Buck. I don't, I don't know why. That doesn't seem like a really good name. Anyway. Look at me. No. Even though you are in my personal space. I freeze before I knew I'm already staring straight at her. Yeah, I don't have that stare, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, no. Bucky, hi. Got another one for you at Missing Person Lane. Uh, yeah, about that. That's, okay, so now at that situation, that's when you just, you just, you know, you push her down to the ground, and then you run, Okay. Grab that phone and you just chuck it. I love it how there's a knife little thing on your phone. Was that even a thing on flip phones? I used to have a flip phone, but I flip flip flip. Uh, I used to have a flip phone. I don't think I've ever seen people have that. Break into a mad dash, running. My heart is everything is a blur. My heart pounded and my eyes can't dull out the sound of whistles, shouts, and undefinable communications coming from all sides. Panting and dazing, I feel my body slowing down, but the image of my face on the next missing person poster kicked my legs into action once more. <laughs> They're clear up ahead. If I break, break their line of sight, I might find a chance to hide. As I need to turn off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end it's, or it's too dark to find my way, I won't have it, the energy to turn around and start running again. Is that Grandma's house? <laughs> Around the corner, I gasp. It's Grandma's house. Thank goodness I dash up the path and burst through the door. Oh. Uh. I don't mean to warn you. I don't think Grandma made it. Nor Mom and Dad. I hold the door shut and it feels like forever as my pulse slowed. The pounding footsteps have passed by. I'm safe for now. <laughs> hey, what? I may be just staring at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, familiar place I grew up in a long... is long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but... This dread, why does it feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? Hello? No response. Well, I mean... Judging from uh, the boots on the floor, I think there might have been a lot of people here. And plus, uh, seeing that damage on that wall and what looks like to be dry blood, I think something bad happened. And also, there's a green butterfly right there. Wait. Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, I know where I need to go. I want to expect that. But if I caught in the web, strange. I don't see a spider around. I wonder how long the poor little thing has been trapped. I don't know. I mean, it's butterflies. Butterflies tend to get themselves trapped. Sorry, one second. I had a little joke. A small strip of hair right here, out still there. Ah. I'll just, I'll just leave it right there for now. Okay. Anyway, I need to go into. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I don't, 
That's the door to the outside. I thought this door was to the outside. Okay. Uh, I don't need to alarm myself, but... Heart land. Okay. So where do I need to go? Oh. Hello? Enter. Uh, my nose. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, there. That's a bucket of blood. Uh. Huh? No, my photos look off. None of them have me in it and my siblings. Their faces seem familiar. What are those weird symbols doing on there? I don't know, but there's a bucket of blood right there. I don't think that's good. Uh. There's more blood. More blood. A tree. Is this an indoor garden? <laughs> okay, so. There's a kitchen freezer. Hello? Anybody in? Oh, I didn't. Uh, no, back up. Hello? Oh. Looks like the triplets. It looks like the triplets' toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left in a hurry. Triplets? Wait, so did mom and dad have more kids? The carpets are... What? What a mess. The place has been torn upside down, but nothing is missing. Weird. That is weird. Oh, you got one of those cat things. I want to buy one so bad. Okay... So there's nothing really in there. I know I need to get into my bedroom, okay? I am sorry, okay? Oh, that's that's so totally safe. That's that's so convenient. Well, it's a good thing it's a river and nobody just sitting there in the distance in the woods hiding in the bush just like... Oh, I see you. You're in your house. Okay. That... Huh? Okay, so... That's just going to lead me to a dead end. So, that's more blood. Okay, so I will think somebody's been doing some not good things at my house. I don't know how I feel having a window like that. Like, you, having that nice cold air come in and all that, that's great. But then on the other hand, just imagine all those bugs coming in. Oh, bathroom. Hang on. We're going to the bathroom first. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, uh. The fuck? A strange, slowly withered plant. Feel sick of the smell. Uh. Okay. Um, I've took about five years. No, five years of ag class in high school. I've took about four years of agriculture. Ah, uh, toilet. Balcony. Alright. Oh. Okay. Anything important? Is that supposed to be a sauna? Is there anything out here that I need? No? I just go back to my bedroom. We're... This is just a bad dream. We're just going to go to the bedroom. And we're just going to go to sleep. Okay. All we're going to do. Where? Okay. Oh, man. Damn. Grandma really got some pretty good vinyl or wall. Uh, wallpaper. Yeah, wallpaper. Okay. Okay. Is this my bedroom? Uh, it's a star. It says my bedroom is right there, but there's something else up here. I get a gun. It's blocked from the other side by something purple. I can't see clearly through the keyhole either. Hmm. Let's see, those flowers have to do with something. Hmm. But there's sunflowers. More flowers. Okay. Oh. Uh, is this. This one in the siblings' room? 
Some creep poster. My little brother's room with smutty posters. Whoever did it is getting a fist to their face. Now let's see. Uh, look. A pale flower. It's beautiful beyond belief. Interesting. Okay, okay. I don't. I. I don't know the age of our little brother, but I get a gut feeling he he probably got those posters from a dumpster, or somebody bought it for him. I really don't like this because I believe this is my bedroom. My room. What on earth happened here? This oculate noise. Has something been living in my house? These candles are still lit. Whoever is responsible was just here. But who? Why? Okay, first of all... Whoever did this, they would technically still be here. Technically. Oh. This book isn't mine either. No title, no author. And it reeks of death and decay. You might want to put that book back because uh, I, 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 I don't think that's good. Because if you see a goat on there and it smells like death and decay, that's no good. With tremble fingers, I open it to a random page. That's one thing I don't think you were ever supposed to do. See the black woods. Instructions on how to corrupt soil of the forest by using remains of a goat and beating heart of a human. Ah, uh, the beating what? I read and reread the passages. But it's see, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. Ah, I reread again and again and my disbelief washed away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. That's a cult. That's what they do. First, the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearance, then the supernatural overgrown woods, and now this? The truth dawns on me. Sakarmenko has been overrun by cultists. Who would have known? All those missing people, my parents, they have been spirited away by an angry forest spirit they have been abducted and not next that kind of reminds me of sally face in a way but that was a good game sally face is a good game you should watch that you should you should watch my gameplay i'll put a link in it in the description below there must be a way to stop this i flip desperately through the books pleasant pages searching for anything that i that might help summon the all mother I get a bad gut feeling this is going to be like SCP. Is it like 1374 or something like that? The SCP that. I don't. I can't remember. Some D. All Mother. A ritual to force the dark deity behind the madness to physically manifest before me, binding her in a form that can't be directly harmed me. This is it, my chance to end this nightmare, once and for all, to face the sinister goddess behind Sakamiko Madness, and put a stop to her evil, whatever the cost. For the sake for everyone who suffered and died, I have to try, I'll have to bend this all-mother to a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. But what did I technically need to have a weapon that's forged to kill a deity one night okay items i have no items but it looks like i can get up oh, looks like an idol of a goat only has one it only has too many legs and too many eyes it weighs a ton too how did this get up the stairs no i don't think they really put it up the stairs i just think they just got a uh, trebuchet and they just launched that bitch into the room that's the only reasonable response I could come up with. <laughs> because that hole in that window, that didn't come from them breaking it because of the because of the tree. They broke it because of that. They broke it because of that little statue right there. Like I said, they took a trebuchet, they built it, 
they, well, first they bought all the materials, they build it, and then they just launch that thing into the room. Okay. <sighs> okay, this ritual will bind the black goat to a physical form that can't harm you. However, no contact will be. Elder Rich God is completely safe. To summon her, do the following. Douse any lit candle. Ensure there is an idol of black goat present somewhere in the room. I think that's what it is over there in the corner. Have a plant mist with you. While facing the tree of the black woods, chant her name. Okay, I... That's convenient. You have found a plant miss a certain I certain times and convenience. This icon will appear when you can spray spray the speaker with water by right clicking. This will interrupt whatever they are doing or saying. This feature was primarily included to consideration of players who dislike being hit by one older woman such eldered abomination, but it has been used too. Uh, judging from what I can tell, this um, Eldritch is probably not going to look good. Judging from uh, the skull head and all that stuff, uh, I think I might. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So click and drag from the first letter to the end of the phrase to chant slowly. What happens if I do it backwards? Can I do it backwards? I can't do it backwards. <laughs> Did it seriously make a fart noise? So I gotta snuff the candles, okay? All right. Let's see some of her douse any lit candles. Okay, and you hi, hello. Have your pathetic lives not been extended long enough? By see, this is what I'm saying. I don't think that. I, 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 Must you continue to torment your goddess so? I'm sorry. My heart pounds in an immersion towards the figure miss. Metro rise before me, her head, my head split into open. I can't take. I can barely breathe with my weight crushing down upon me. I, I, I don't know. Some people might think that's hot. That is just. Oh boy. This is why I think I'm gonna die. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne. Hi, Roxanne. The black goat of the woods. I, I, well, I'm sorry if I ruined your nap or whatever. Madness given form, shredding my sanity with each second that passes. It's evil, ancient, and endless, peering into the deepest part of me that whenever or never meant to be seen. Dangerous ground, little lamb. Hey, I'm not a little lamb. Each time you summon me, my wrath. Gross. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? In the book, it says you can't touch me. Take that! I will make you move each second of agony you have inflicted. Now, choose your next words carefully. What more could you possibly want of me? Speak! I want to stop you. I have to banish her to send her back before there's nothing left of me. But the words I need to, won't come out. I Did I really think I could face a power like this? Stupid, stupid girl. With the last shred of my will, I chant to the thoughts of why I came and why I dared this for really. I swallow blind in terror, straightening my spine, grab a candle from the floor, and speak shakenly. I am here to stop you from hurting other souls. I'm sending you back to that darkness you crawled out of one way or another. Really? Okay, well, 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 do not do that. Okay, do not do that. Do not, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, rock in. 
You look a little bit cute. Okay, I'm going to say that you look cute. Um, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never end. Huh? Okay, wait a minute. So, you're, you're telling me you don't like your cult? Is that what you're saying? Because if you don't like your cult, can you just end them? Like, Daniel snap, just fucking, they die, they blow up into a million pieces and puddles of blood comes over the place? Um, aren't you supposed to be, like, trying to stop me or something? No, I'm into this. Get me out of here. Okay, first of all, how do I get you out of here? And secondly, what's gonna happen? My brow frowns and I, as I stare at her wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to want to, you know, spread madness and whatnot? You know, kinda. You're confused. A hundred percent. No, a thousand percent confused. Well, yeah, you want to be exor exor exorcist? Banished. <sighs> yes. I'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. Sorry. Okay. So... That's about the way. So, basically what you're telling me is that... You're stuck here. Your cult... It, okay, hang on. Explain to me more. I don't understand. You have so many followers. Followers that just try to kill me, I might add. Can they free you instead? Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. Oh, you don't say! It's not like there's blood on the floor, blood on the walls. There's a bucket of blood. And what was that room called? I cannot remember. A dining room. The dining room. There's a bucket of blood. Explain to me that. My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Huh? Wait, okay, hold up. Isn't the whole purpose of a cult to build more followers and stuff and take over the world, cause mass destruction, erasing, eradicating certain people that don't follow your beliefs? Like, is that the whole purpose of a cult? Well, well, okay. Like, shouldn't they be recruiting more people first, then start eradicating people? Have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please. Okay, now here's a question. How do I do that? Help me. I'm gonna try to, but I also need to get a paper towel because my nose is running. My nose is running. Okay, Roxanne, you need help? I rub my temple. This is tricky. On one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted forest is devouring this town and who knows how much further it will spread if nothing is done. On the other hand, I have a serious revelation about helping an eldritch god do anything. All of those missing people person po people po po pastors she's responsible she and her cult are pure evil but for now we want the same thing her gone all right tell me how to do this do i just grab an old knife and that's what i'm saying your mortal weapons can harm me child but they cannot stop me but that book you carry it holds the key to my banishment Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. Can I just burn the book? Can I just do that? Just, you know, just have you disappear and then burn the book? First things first. You will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust. Oh boy. So many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate. Your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. 
Okay, where did you... Hi, that's my bed. Okay, uh... Spawn partner. Okay, light the ritual candles. The color of the flame doesn't matter, so please choose the color you find comforting. Have you chosen a acrimate herb on your person? Pick a scent you find pleasant. Imagine your idol partner, if it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Why do I get a gut feeling somebody did that? If it doesn't exist, it will be created. Chant. My phone went off. Okay. So, I gotta light the candles. Okay. Purple. Go with that. Ah, <sighs> okay, so rosemary? Lavender? Or mint? Rosemary, I'm not a really big fan of, honestly. Lavender? Eh, I could really care less. What's he, what's the lavender? What, what's, I, hey Siri, what does lavender smell like? Lavender is known for its sweet floral aroma with a hint of mint and citrus. This answer is from SavoraSpicerShop.com. Well, thank you, Siri. My pleasure. I'm more of a mint guy, honestly. Like mint chocolate chip, mint chocolate. Mint is just a really good smell. It really is, honestly. So let's go with mint. Now, this is going to be the end. <laughs> I, did, I do not want to end it this far or end it at this part, but... Anyway, I do not want to end it right here on a cliffhanger, but this is going to be the end of this part of Sucker for Love, A Date to Die For. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like a Sucker, a sucker for Love and other videos I have planned for in the future. And if you have any game suggestions for me, comment them down below, please. Anyway, hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.